Okay. Well, welcome to episode one. Once again, I'm going to reiterate that we're doing these in chronological order. So we're starting here in Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater in 1964. Other than that, I'm going to let the game do most of the talking and giving all the plot details since, well, that's what it's here for. But I will have to make fun of it from time to time just to keep my voice here and, well, because it really deserves it sometimes. A fair warning, it is quite the soap opera that's been written, so from it will be quite friggin' dramatic for no real reason, other than it's kind of fun. Um, really, that's about it, so let's get this train wreck a-rolling, shall we? All right. Well, I was going to start reading, but if you could go read it instead, I'll let him do it. East and west. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. <laughs> so, we'll be playing Snake throughout most of these. Just about all of them, really. In a couple different forms. Snake's more of a, uh, a code name than an actual person at some points. Got some really good names, actually, with like David Hader and all them. This one's uh, Snake Eater is probably my favorite out of most of the uh, Metal Gear series, really. Uh, other than maybe five. Flying over Pakistan, altitude thirty thousand feet, approaching Soviet airspace. Twenty minutes to drop off. Beep, boop, boop, boop. All right. Ready to go. Drop zone still showing a high pressure mass. Cab okay. Good. We've got high visibility. What a great logo, that big fox looking thing. Put out that cigar. Take yeah, probably shouldn't be smoking with oxygen on your body. But I guess in the 60s, you didn't have to worry about smoking on planes, really. And that mullet. That beautiful mullet. Does this panty waste know what he's doing? Fucking caught him. Approaching release point. Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? Mostly. Deaf or not listening, really. Your choice. Oh, look at that. Slow motion cigar throw. You know he's a cool guy. Depressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. Well, now I'm deaf and blind. Apparently we're driving straight into the sun. Pretty chilly. Can't tell me what to do. I like the uh, game name just written on his head. If found, return please to me. Secret mission. But uh, gotta label all my gear anyway. May the force be with you too. And he slams back into the ramp and just dies there. Cannonball! Done. Beautiful game. Wonderful. Jack, I've got some important news. Jack's his real name. Stakes his code name. Also, Snake tends to just reiterate whatever's been told to him. He's kind of basically a human parrot. Well, 
No, virtuous mission. Do you not listen at all? Like face moles or Sure. Soviet's top secret weapon research facility. And the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Sokolov? Isn't he that famous rocket scientist? The very same. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets achieved the first manned space flight in history. The Earth was blue, but there was no God. Well spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin to orbit was the A-1, known as the Vostok. Also a good steak sauce. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. Just strap more engines to it. Brilliant, man. Doesn't fly? More rockets. Still doesn't fly? More rockets? Now it just explodes. Well, we've got a weapon. Maybe one less rocket and we can get to space. Digging moles this time? Like star nosed? I was the one who conducted the operation. The security on the eastern side was still full of holes back then. Then what? We got Sokolov over in one piece, but the whole ordeal had left him exhausted. And we checked him Took a big nap. Took him two weeks and more. It's a long wait. That's a long nap. I uh, don't really want to uh, let the Cubans have the missiles. I should not do any form of uh, voicing, really. Cannot do accents. Double deals. They wanted that KFC formula. They got ten of their spices, but that last spice they just cannot figure out. KFC secret formula. Duh. We were running out of time. Either give up Sokolov or risk full scale nuclear war. In the end, we had no choice. President Kennedy gave in to Khrushchev's demand. The next day, I got Sokolov out of the hospital. We handed him over to agents on the eastern side. And it looks like they put a bullet in him with these four pixel photographs that you handed me. Why are my eyes so blurry? Yes. He was taken back to the research facility and forced to continue working. Maybe those are trees? Maybe there's a building there? Can't really see. So what kind of weapon is it? Something to do with space rockets? No. Missile. Not much of a difference. Just aim it down a little more. I guess you're Instead of astronauts in the front, you put explosives in the front. No, they're just using it to dig. No, according to 
our intelligence, he's in Salino Yat, a place in the mountains about three miles to the west that's known as the Virgin Cliffs. The Virgin Cliffs. Like I said, he just likes to repeat everything. For a virtuous mission. They moved him there just recently. Why? Apparently, they're conducting a field test of the weapon, but it's our best chance to get him back. This mission would never have been possible if he was still in the research facility. This is our last chance. So now, I won't be purposefully spoiling anything that happens in the Metal Gear series. Even though I've done all the games already. Some more recently than others. Um, but, I'll try to keep all the major spoilers off. Some interesting tidbits I will have to throw out, though. It's not going to be a, an achievement run or anything, but I'm going to try and keep it nice and professional, keep the kills to a minimum, try not to be seen, and just uh, try to do a good job about it. Oh, and I can look through my own eyes. Sure is a long way down. On a river. If we don't get Sokolov back before that weapon is complete, we'll be facing a major crisis. The clock is ticking. There's holes in my parachute! Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Once again with the big logo. The process takes about 20 minutes. Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. So in case you missed it, I'm going to go over there, I'm going to strap a helium balloon to him, it's going to throw him into the air, and the plane's going to fly by and pick him up. And that's how we leave. So unless he's a turbo fatty, the arm should be alright. She's equipped with two 6-barrel 20mm Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40mm machine guns. Sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. Home in time for dinner. But if anything goes wrong, you'll be eating dinner, breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. Maybe we get to start the game now? Nope, more cutscenes. Like I said, very cutscene heavy game. Kojima likes to tell a story without all the messy video game part getting in the way. Oh, there goes my backpack. My snack packs were in there. Super badass. Doesn't even have to look up. It's like not looking at explosions, but it's a parachute, so it's still pretty lame. Some sort of evil bug man. It is quite the view, though. But uh, the parachute might have helped get down this giant mountain. Don't need this anymore. Don't need this anymore. Let the beautiful mullet flow. And this is my main form of communication with the other members of my team. Is I get to call them on the phone. Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory. Someone I got to play with this picture up there, though. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. Snake? What, you don't like snakes? What do you mean? You've eaten one before. What are you, Indiana Jones? I don't like snakes. I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order one at a restaurant. Be careful, you might not have a choice. What about you, Major? 
What should I call you? Hmm, let's see. I'll be... I'll be Top. Call me Major Top. This and I'll be Ground Control. You've got it. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. You mean like that parachute? This kind of or that helmet with my name on it? Or that backpack that I left in a tree? Weapons and equipment are procured or my altimeter? That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Leave nothing, no, except everything you've already snakes. dropped. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason for that. I'll tell you later. Sounds really offended. Gotcha. No. Getting back to the subject. It's not a joke. Exactly am I supposed to feed myself? You've been issued a knife and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. You'll also find some medical supplies in your backpack. Joke's on you. Lost the backpack. Oh, the backpack. I lost it in a tree on the way down. I see. Well, you better go back and get Thank it. Thank God we have that panning camera no, back to my is. backpack. No problem. I can see it from here. It's stuck on a branch. To climb a tree, stand in front of a tree that's covered in ivy and press the action button. Ah, tutorial time. I'll be monitoring your progress over the radio. You can't risk violating Soviet airspace, but I'll be in the gunship. My frequency is 140.85. Now, luckily, I don't have to memorize these because he's got them all on speed dial. Okay, Snake, go get your backpack. Now we get to start the mission. Duck my way under this log. Sneaking through the jungle. I'm sneaking through the jungle. Gotta pick up my backpack. Climb up the tree. Careful. And down we go. Got the backpack. I'm the greatest. I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. It's got a coloring book in it. To equip a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. In the survival viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. Your available weapons will be displayed in a window in the upper left. From that list, choose the weapon you want to equip and press the enter button. For other equipped items, just do the same thing from item. Got it. Use the survival Open backpack. backpack. Take things out. Yep, right. Close backpack. Survival is Got it. To this mission. After you've been out in the field for a while, your stamina will start to drop. If your stamina gets too low, it'll affect your performance. You won't be able to shoot accurately, for example, and your wounds won't heal as smoothly. Keep but my I face stuffed full of animals, I find. You got it. recover lost stamina, you can hunt for local flora and fauna. You can use either your tranquilizer gun or your knife to hunt. My only weapon is a Mark 22 Hush Puppy tranquilizer gun. And a knife. That's right. It's been fitted with its own suppressor. However, the suppressor will deteriorate every time you fire. Once its durability reaches zero, the noise suppression effect will be gone. So don't get too... One more thing to make it more difficult. The suppressor's durability is shown in the icon. Any weapons and equipment beyond what you're carrying now, you'll have to find as you go. I have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy idea was this, anyway? Solo covert actions are standard Fox operating procedure. You can't leave any traces of your presence. Except Weapons, for all the things that I've already dropped. Or bodily waste. The same goes for bullets and cartridges, too. Your presence in enemy territory is already a violation of international conventions of but warfare. But you sent me down Fox with a big parachute the with the Fox logo on it, it could spark the helmet, with all the information about this mission on it. Which I've also dropped. Spooky ghosts. There'll be no rescue if you're captured. The military and U.S. government will deny any involvement in the affair. Then I'll just have to take care of myself, huh? I'm afraid so. You've been given a fake death pill for that purpose. SIS guidelines stipulate that soldiers on covert ops like this one issued a potassium cyanide capsule. Tape it to your body so you can take it when you need to. How generous. Just anywhere. 
tape it to your face. Use it if you're taken prisoner by the enemy. Send you into a state of false death for a short time. Fooling them into thinking that I'm really dead. So how do I come back to life? What do you mean come back to life? You're dead. The revival you mean that thing they put in my tooth before the mission? That's the one. But be careful. If you remain in a state of false death for too long, nothing will be able to bring you back. Remember that. I'll keep it in mind. You said this was a solo mission, right? Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Nobody is here. Mission rests entirely in your hands. A real one-man army. Relax. There's a support team ready to back you up over the radio. Who? I'll introduce them to you. This time, survival is of utmost importance. The first member of the support team will be in charge of monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak. As well on the phone. As your mission data. She's a member of Fox as well, and she's here on the gunship with me. She Run through the whole cast and crew of the Hello, Brady Bunch here. You're a medic. Nice to meet you. Paramedic. As in a medic who comes in by parachute. Aren't you going to tell me you're Not like somebody who rides around in an ambulance. Yours, Mr. Snape? My name, huh? It's John Doe. And they call you Jack for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. What's your name? Again, I get to play with her picture. Very funny. I wasn't joking, but I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. My frequency is 145.73. She's also in charge of recording your mission data. Again, luckily this is all in his, uh... His little black book of numbers for him. So saving lets me record my mission data. That's right. It also records the state of your health. Good to know. There's one more person I want to introduce you to, Snake. Huh. Speaking of snakes, you remember the boss, don't you? 